This year, I'm going to take it upon myself to take $100 and see if I can turn it into $1,000 by flipping electronics, and I'm going to be documenting the entire process. To go over some of the details of this challenge, I'm allowed to buy, sell, flip, and repair any electronics that I come across using any platform that I decide. Hopefully, I'm able to give you guys some insight in how to make money through flipping electronics. Going into the first deal of the series, I have this Nintendo Switch that I purchased for just under $100 on eBay. The reason I was able to purchase this Switch for so cheap is because it's missing a dock, Joy-Con, accessories, and it is also broken as well. But I'm hoping to have the parts on hand to fix this Switch to make it working again. So I like this listing for two different reasons. Firstly, this listing is open for best offers, meaning that I can send an offer to the seller and the seller at that point could choose to accept or deny it. Essentially, it works as negotiating as you would at a yard sale. Second off, I do have images that confirm that this switch is booting up. The reason why this is critical is because I do not want to deal with a broken switch that is bricked on my first repair. In the beginning of the challenge, I really only want to do repairs that require simple part swaps instead of uh, board level repairs. The reason why I want to avoid this is because it's a lot of risk when you're taking on a switch that has board damage because there could be a, a wild different issues. If I do get a bricked switch, it isn't the end of the world as I could use it for parts, but for the beginning, because our portfolio is just so small and so new I really don't want to take up on that risk of having a completely brick switch in this listing the seller stated that the game cartridge reader isn't working meaning if you insert a game inside the switch it isn't able to register it so I suspect this could be just a faulty game reader and just an easy swap is all I need so I do have some game cartridge readers on hand so I'm gonna just take out the old game cartridge reader and put in my spare and see what would happen so now let's start with the unboxing of the Switch. By switching out the game cartridge reader with the spare one, it looks like I'm able to read games completely fine. And it looks like the issue has been fixed. Now we can get on with the eBay portion and trying to get some money out of this Switch. So to start off with, I think eBay is going to be the best platform for this Switch. Doing some research and trying to look at Switches that are similar to mine, being the Animal Crossing one and console only or the tablet only, I'm able to find that it's roughly around 150 to 180 is the selling point. There are some dents on this switch and it's not in the best condition. So I'm speculating that I can get like probably 150 out of it. However, I did find a micro SD card in this switch, which does add some value to it. So I'm speculating it could probably fetch around maybe 160 to 170, maybe it bumps it up by $10 and I'm gonna open it for offers. If someone offers me 170 or above, I'm gonna automatically take the offer. Or even 160 above, I, I might just take the offer as is. I would usually post this also on Facebook Marketplace in order to get more traction. But for this flip, I feel like just having a selling a tablet only or a console only is rather niche and no one's really going to be picking this item up. But also it doesn't really hurt to post it on Facebook Marketplace as well. Uh, in this case, I don't really want to bother with uh, meeting up with people to sell a Switch and I'm only making 40 50 bucks. So for that reason, I'm just going to be listing this on eBay for the time being. Now that the listing is created, we can just sit back and wait. So it's been about a week since I made my initial listing on eBay. So I got a few offers for this Nintendo Switch, 
but I ultimately chose an offer for $153. So the reason I decided to take on this offer as opposed to wait is because I, I kind of want to just get on with the challenge. It's been about a week, so I decided just to cash out. Obviously, if I waited a little bit longer, maybe I could have squeezed out an extra 10, maybe $15, but I decided that I wanted to get on with it and just liquidate what I had so far. So last night, I printed out the label and I packed up the Nintendo Switch, put it in a box, wrapped it in an envelope, all that stuff and then I dropped it off at my local USPS. We are now done with our first deal. So this first deal yielded about $20, even though I did sell it for $153, and it did cost me about $95 to buy the Switch. I had to factor in that eBay was, is going to have to take some fees, and it's going to also cost me some money to ship. So fees and shipping cost about $33 to get the Switch off my hands. So that leaves me with about $120. So in the end, we made $20 from our first deal. So I'd say this is pretty good. Obviously, I probably put in like I don't like more worth than $20 worth, but I say I really enjoyed this process. And over time, the deals are going to be getting bigger and bigger. Maybe we'll be starting on Nintendo Switches. Maybe the next one will be a Nintendo Switch. I'm not too sure yet, but the next deal could be like an iPhone. Maybe later on we go into iPads and then maybe desktop computers. The items are going to get more pricey as we build up our portfolio. So I say this is a pretty successful first run and I'm going to be excited to keep on looking for more deals. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button and I'm going to go back onto Facebook Marketplace and eBay to look for our next deal. So stay tuned.